It's a range of emotions Sergei feels when he talks about Russia's ongoing assault on Ukraine. Mostly anger, he says, for the pain it's causing his country. He's the deputy mayor of Kraviri now and knows the pain of displacement all too well. Sergei and his family fled Russia's takeover of Donetsk in 2014. Drawing on that experience, he's helped set up the center for the displaced. 99% of them want to go back to their home, but we understand that now they cannot because their cities are completely destroyed or the Russians have occupied it. Some people just cannot return to it. And so our tasks here is to make their lives comfortable. Many people from the southern and eastern Russian-occupied parts of Ukraine come to cities like Kriviri with the hope of returning home soon. But at this stage of this war, that seems increasingly unlikely. And the number of displaced people in this country is growing by the day. Yulia fled her town with her two sons in the Donetsk region a month ago. Like many others, she registers at the center and is provided food aid and other necessary supplies, but what she fled still haunts her. We thought the fighting would end soon, but the situation only got worse as we waited. No electricity, no water, constant shelling. I just can't describe it. I was feeling so much fear. I'm still shocked. Street animals started eating human bodies and body parts that were lying on the streets. No one could bury them because the fighting never stopped. For the newer arrivals to Kriviri, that pain is still fresh. Staying at an accommodation provided by the center, 63-year-old Marina fled the Dnipro region with her grandchildren and great-grandchild. Inside, I only feel pain, not to anger. Sometimes there's not enough tears to describe it. It's difficult for anyone to leave your own house, of course, but my main pain is to see our new generation experience this horrible war. They don't have a normal childhood. It's because I just don't have the words. The UN Refugee Agency says nearly 5 million Ukrainian refugees have been recorded across Europe. And as battles still rage in the east of the country, that number is expected to rise. Rahul Radhakrishnan, TRT World, Krivi Ukraine. Thank <laughs> you.